Ah, oh, another snowy day in the tundra. Well, not snowy so much right now, but it obviously has snowed. Gosh, I really need to clean out this area. Anyways, hello everybody, your favorite kitten is back again, and yes, I know it's been a while. Alright, let's go back in the house where it's not so chilly. Uh, I made myself <laughs> a few signs just to remember the topics that uh, I want to talk to you about because it has been a while and I, d I don't want to ramble on forever. Um, this place still looks largely the same. This area hasn't really changed. Um, so I haven't really been playing much lately on the hardcore world for like quite a while. Um, that's not exactly why I haven't uploaded a video. Well, that's why I haven't uploaded a video of the hardcore world. That, however, is not why I haven't uploaded any videos. I actually had a plan. I got started with this new survival series that I was going to do for um, for YouTube. Pepcore, unfortunately, is on hold. I don't think it's the right time. Uh, I didn't get much of a response with it. And, uh, of course, it came out just before um, they announced the update, which uh, is really going to change that challenge quite a lot. Uh, so... We're going to put that series on hold, um, but we'll, we'll come back to it uh, in the future, maybe once I've uh, done some other stuff first and uh, maybe grown my channel and subscriber count a little bit more. Because uh, I do think it'd be a fun and interesting challenge, but I just don't know that now is exactly the right time for it. <laughs> Alright, so why haven't I been uploading videos? Well, Minecraft changed something, and I was hoping that they would change it back and get it fixed, and then it would be back to how it was, but uh, it's not. And uh, basically, that's why I'm Steve. Yes, I'm Steve. Now, this is not my choice. I use, you know, you've seen my skin. It's on the thumbnail of every video, including this video. I'll make sure I get it. And uh, I bought it. In a pack that was on the marketplace. It was a skin pack that had a bunch of other little Neko characters, which is cute. You know, I, I like the characters with the little cat ears, and so I found the blonde one, and um, yeah, I, I like that skin. I think it fits my current OC, the character that uh, I have represent me online, kind of. Um, but for some reason, Minecraft decided that you cannot, when you go offline, access anything that a skin that I bought literally used my own money to pay for to get this from the marketplace and I can't even use that skin I can't even access the packs I can't access anything uh, to do with the skins when I'm loading into the game and so it just automatically puts me as either Steve or Alex and of course I don't have internet here where I live so <laughs> Uh, and that's also the place where I do most of my recording, so I put it off recording and, uh, well, I just finally decided that, uh, I can't keep doing that anymore because I want to upload again. <laughs> it's fun. Alright, so yeah, Hardcore Series is back. I've been playing on it again recently. The pro- the project in progress. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is still being worked on. I'm not done with it yet, but I made significant progress, actually, in these past couple of weeks. So, it's really coming along, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get that done pretty soon. It's kind of a big project, a lot bigger than I initially expected it to be. And uh, But I think it's going to be, you know, I think I'm going to like it really once it's done, and it's going to give me at least two videos out of it, so I'll be pretty happy about that. And I'm excited for that. Alright, so it's going to be sunset. Let me go ahead and sleep. Of course, I don't want don't want to have anything spawn, even though it doesn't really matter, because, I mean, my house is pretty safe, but I don't want to have strays wandering around. They're very annoying, because while they don't do much damage to me, they give me slowness, which is not fun at all. Alright, we're just going to sleep real quick. Very serious about sleeping on this world. I don't want any mobs hanging around. Alright, so danger. Uh, I did go mining again underground a little bit. And I went mining in this direction. You know, my mine naturally goes this way. 
uh, I decided to go this way, and uh, I knew that it was a possibility that I might run into a little deep dark, but I thought it would be farther on, because there are some big mountains over that way, towards where the iron farm is. Uh, but no, I think there's some deep dark under this mountain. I was able to get, though, successfully a catalyst, a couple of sensors, and some regular skull blocks. I... I made a shrieker go off, actually, in the mine, which was pretty terrifying. Uh, the first shrieker that I've set off in survival mode yet. I, I've, sh I've stayed firmly away from the deep dark in survival so far. So, this is my first little survival foray into it, and on the hardcore world, no, no less. Uh, but yeah, I got a little bit of that, little bit of that stuff, so that's good. And technically, now that I have a callus, I don't ever, ever have to go back to the deep dark again if I don't want to, because I can get infinite stuff just with that. So that's good. Alright, so the new update came out. I like it. It's cool. It's not an amazing update. I wasn't very excited about it. Um, I mean, overall, I just don't think it was that great. But there are a couple great things with it. The new dogs, which I do plan to get all of them at some point. Right now, as you can see, there are a couple dogs that are a little different from the others. I found these guys hanging around here and uh, in my spot where I farm spruce wood. I found a couple of the black dogs, so I'll bring those over sometime, and uh, eventually I'll go to all the biomes and find the new dogs. I love the new dog variants. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to be a collector in every single one of my worlds. I just love them. The next good thing about the update is the trial chambers, which is why we're here today. I'm going to go after a trial chamber. I've not done this yet. Um, well, I've done it uh, on another world, not actually a survival world. I... Booted up a creative world, basically, and I, uh, uh, on the creative world, I gave myself, uh, armor like this, basically, and I went through a trial chamber just so I could see, like, how dangerous it was, how deadly it was, and if I was prepared to do it on hardcore mode, and I, it's pretty easy, just the regular mode. The ominous mode does get a little bit, uh, it can get a little bit, you know, depending on what kind of mobs you got going on, it can be a little bit more dangerous, but I'm going to go after a tri tri trial chamber because they're very fun, and we're just going to start with a normal, regular trial chamber. There's a village over here. I'm going to trade with the villagers, and um, when I do that, I'll get one of the cartographer maps, and when I get the cartography map, I will, uh, I found somewhere to land here. I'll uh, follow it to the trial chamber site, and maybe I'll show a little bit of my uh, initial trial chambering. But uh, I won't be doing the Omnis trials, maybe not in this video. Um, but I'm going to have to do a lot of setting up, because I'm going to have to tear down, like seriously tear down some walls. And uh, do some other stuff, because uh, I want to be fully prepared if I take on one of those. Alright, uh, I need a villager. And I need... Alright, you... Hey, you want to be a cartographer? Oh, and we're lagging. Okay. Hey, buddy. Can can someone come in here? Can you... How about you? You want to be a cartographer? Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't you want to be a cartographer? No, 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 no. Oh, hey, there you are. Come on. Come here, little guy. Yeah, you want to be a cartographer. I know you do. Where'd you go? Oh, I thought that guy was coming here. He had the spyglass. Is that not a cartographer thingy? I, yeah, I don't know. There you are. Hey, you're a cartographer, right? You want to come in? You want to come in here? I, I know it's a little icy. I can fix that. I can fix that. Come on. Don't you want to come in here? Come on, it's very lovely this time of year. Okay, uh, well, we'll see if we can get this guy. Alright, quite a lot of emeralds later. I have gotten it. The trial explorer map. Let's see. Okay, it's actually, it's pretty close. And in this direction. Alright, that's not a bad direction. Alright. Let's pack up, and I'll fly over to the map. 
Okay, let's put our stuff up. I got <laughs> way too many Ocean Explorer maps. All right, buddy, you're free to go now. Let's grab a bed and we'll go to sleep. Just out here in the wild. And we'll go fly to the area where the map takes me. Okay, so it's this way. All right. Oh, I hope it's not around the deep dark. That would not be ideal. Oh, maybe it is kind of far away. No, it's closer than I thought. I blow to these chunks, but, you know, not underground, so... I hope, the one thing I hope, though, is that it's not going to be like a situation where it's kind of glitched. See, this is, um, this is the village I went by when I was coming from spawn. This is the first village I saw in this world. So that this actually concerns me a little bit. Okay, no, it's a little farther. I know I can put the map in my offhand, I just don't want to do it. Okay, well, we're getting away from the snow. Oh, and I've passed it. Okay. So what, is it just like right here? Okay. Oh, you know, it's kind of where this little uh, crater over here is, which is interesting. So I guess we'll dig down right here. Okay, got a little overhang area. All right, that's all for now. I'll see you guys again when I get into the actual thing. All right, and here we are. I found a trial chamber. So I couldn't find the initial one that I looked for. I don't know. I'd already loaded those chunks, so I'm not sure if it just wasn't there or if it loaded improperly. Uh, but because I couldn't find it, I decided that I would go really far away to an area that I'm pretty sure I haven't loaded, and that's this area. I found a village uh, a little over, I think, that way-ish. <laughs> And um, it led me here to a little savanna biome, and I dug down, and sure enough, I found the trial chamber entrance. Yay! So we're going to get into this thing, and we're going to just start taking it on. I started out, I found this little chest here. Um, so hopefully this one is completely intact, and I won't have any issues with generation, because, as I said, this is... This is a completely new one. All right, now i got to think about where to put my little recording thing. I know you can't see that, but I can. Oh, and also, funnily enough, I, you know, I just mentioned that uh, Minecraft made it so that uh, I couldn't use my skin offline. Well, sure enough, the day after I recorded that, Minecraft released an update, and now it appears to be fixed. I don't know if it'll last, <laughs> but for now, anyways, uh, here we are. <laughs> Alright, so I've got all my stuff set up. I've removed some stuff from my inventory that I don't need. I'm just going to do the regular one right now, though, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so, yeah, we are just going to get right into it. And Alright. <laughs> Alright, yep. Let's do it. Alright, and we got our first spawner. I went... And repaired my boat. Okay, so we've got the new bogs. That's great. I like them. Oh, sounds like another spawner activated. So we're just going to play it really safe right here. At the beginning. Hello? Any other guys around right now? down there. I see an ominous vault right over there. Alright, um, I guess I'll just drop down. Let's, um, see where. 
Okay, got spiders down here. Oh, I heard an Enderman. Don't love that. Don't really want Enderman. Getting all up in my business right now. Oh, hey, here's one of the new pots. So we're gonna break all the pots. Ooh, I got a diamond out of that. Nice. I hear the little gusty dude, but I feel like maybe I'm not supposed to. Oh, okay, a slime spawner. Although I still need to finish off. There's one more bog somewhere that I'm not finding. Okay, there's the Enderman. I don't love that he's there. Might go ahead, just... Just make myself a little hidey hole here. So that if I accidentally look at him, I have somewhere to go. And where's the skelly boy? There he is, I see him. Ah, get away from me again. I'm going to play this very safe, I think. So I may cut off until I get this room sorted, and then I'll show you my first um, vault that I open. Where'd you go, buddy? Ooh, sniper. Okay, is that the last one, or did one more of them? Oh, I got my first trial key! Yay! Alright, I'm gonna take care of the rest of this room, break some pots, I'll see you when I get back. Alright, so I finished off this room, I got three trial keys, which is nice. Now I'm gonna head in here, I believe, and I can already tell there's a problem because I see wood. Huh, there must be a mine shaft around here. Interesting. Alright, now there should be a breeze spawner in here. This room could get a little bit. Alright, let's, uh, let's jump in. Hey, there he is! It's the guy! Boy, these guys actually have a little bit of help. Yay, alright. He ended up down there. All right, and we got more bogs. All right. Ah, cooked chicken. Okay. All right, let's light everything up. All right, and we got some vaults in this room. That's good. Uh, this room layout, I've seen this one before. This one's alright. Chests. Anything in the chests. I finally figured out that the chests are not really so much for, uh, for holding loot, but rather for, um, okay. It's just a little hole there, which I don't like. Alright, so let's do some of these, uh, vaults and see what we get. First vault, let's see. Poison arrows, iron, okay. Not really what I was hoping for, but okay. Whatever. Alright, let's do this one here in the middle. Iron. Poison arrows. I'm hoping, I know you can get a trim and you can get a banner pattern from these uh, beginner level ones. There's the ominous vault right up there. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get one of each of those. Wind charges. Alright. They're pretty fun. Uh, they're a little hard for me to use so far I've found, but I like them well enough. Okay, and then let's do this one. <gasps> yes, I got a banner pattern. You know, I love making banners, so that's actually super great. And I got an ominous bottle, my first ominous bottle in this world. I will have to go back before I start doing the, uh, the ominous trials. I'll have to go back home, go back, stop by my iron farm slash raid farm, and, uh, Get a few uh, ominous bottles. 
at least um, I don't have to summon a raid if I don't want to, so it's kind of nice. Unless you have these little hidey holes as well. Alright, so I think that's this room cleared. So I got the Guster banner pattern. I think this is the swirly one. Alright, and uh, I'm just going to have fun with the rest of this one, obviously. I don't want to make too long of a video, even though I have finally deleted Genshin Impact. I had to. I... I had no storage left on my phone. I, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't record a video or anything. Uh, I had to do it. And I mean, it got to a point where I couldn't even update Genshin itself because uh, I couldn't. It wouldn't let me. I, I didn't have enough storage to download the update. Uh, so I couldn't even play it anymore. Uh, the app is still on my phone. I just uh, undownloaded all the resources. So. Not gonna be playing that uh, until I can play it on the computer or Switch or whatever. <laughs> a little sad. But uh, on the other hand, I can make longer videos now and better videos because I can record more things at a time. So maybe my videos will be a little more interesting from here on out. That's the hope, anyways. Uh, anyways, I've got the ability to do it a little better now. Uh, so. That's going to be it. I'm going to have fun with this, and I'll come back to you guys again after I've cleared up this whole bastion. I'm taking out all Charles spawners, opened up all the vaults and everything, and uh, we'll see. Um, I'll show you everything that I got. Alright, that's uh, it for just a few minutes. Be back soon. Hello everybody, we are back at home. So I had a lot of fun in the trial chambers. Uh, all in all, I discovered the whole thing. Uh, all of it seems to be intact. I found all the rooms and I went through them all, uh, defeating all the spawners and unlocking the trial vaults. Uh, oh, it's snowing. <laughs> uh, I did all of that twice through and then I did a few extra vaults because by the time that I got done with uh, one round, uh, when I had to go back to the beginning, uh, they were ready again. So I just went ahead and did them and that was just fine. And I'm going to show you the loot that I got. Uh, I actually got some pretty good stuff here, so as you can see, I got a good amount of breeze wads and uh, the new wind charges, which are fun. I got some emeralds, some diamonds, which I didn't expect to get quite so many diamonds. I'm pleased about that. I also, luckily, got the, one of the new discs, Aaron Sheroff Precipice, and I like this one quite a lot. Uh, in fact, the two new discs are um, probably two of my favorites of the new ones added there. Really fun to listen to. I had a few extra vault keys because uh, all the vaults, I'd use them all and uh, I couldn't continue to use them. Huh? Oh. Oh no, strays have spawned. I can't sleep. Really? Uh. Okay. Uh, I wish they'd just go away. I just kind of don't want to deal with that right now. Okay. Fine. Fine. We'll go elsewhere to sleep. Be right back. Alright. And uh, I flew away to sleep. <laughs> I let it get a little too dark. I always forget with the snow. It makes things get dark earlier. makes mobs spawn. Anyways, uh, I also got some ominous bottles. So that'll be good. I got two of these new banner patterns, which is awesome. Uh, I unfortunately did not get the armor trim that you can get from the regular vaults, but I'll go back there in the future and I'll probably get it at some point. I also got just a regular silk touch book, which is always helpful. Now I'm pretty happy with this loot overall. And first of all, I would like to grab that. And let's go ahead and turn the music down. No, we should go to audio. Let's turn the music down just for now. And uh, we're going to play our new little disc while we talk about the trial chamber. Uh, quick mention, I also got, this is stuff that I thought I would keep. These are mostly mob drops, so I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> And then I got a few blocks as well, but not too many since I'm not going for the blocks yet. I will, however, get to that. Alright, so we're going to play our new 
we're gonna play our new music disc and we're gonna sit here and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit to you guys. Let's go ahead, let's take off the armor. We're all friendly here. I keep the totem on my hand just in case. So, uh, this trial chamber that I found was actually pretty cool. It was pretty big. Uh, there were eight rooms in total. One of the rooms, uh, not counting, or yes, counting the room that didn't have any spawners actually, but uh, it's just a room that had some extra vaults in it. Uh, it's okay. Funnily enough, I got, I don't know if you consider it lucky or unlucky on the spawners. I got a lot of repeat rooms and uh, of course I got a couple, two or three of the breeze spawners and I also got mostly um, bogged spawners and uh, I also got a bunch of slime spawners and a couple spider spawners. Uh, so no zombie or husk spawners and no stray spawners which is going to make Ominous Trials a little bit easier, I think. I'm probably just going to build a little room around the spawners for Ominous Trials and uh, basically just give myself as easy a time as I possibly can. <laughs> Isn't this such a jam? I love it. Uh, both of the new discs are great. <laughs> uh, so trial chambers in general, I love them. I think they're a great addition to the game. I think the game has really been missing something like this and I think uh, we needed it for quite a long time and so I'm really glad they added this. Uh, they're actually fun and you know I'm not, I don't really like combat. It's just, you know, it's not really my thing. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of the combat in this game. I always try to avoid it whenever possible. But I actually like the trial chambers. I think they're fun. They keep me entertained. And so I'm, uh, I'm excited to keep playing with those. I think the loot is good too. Uh, which is an issue sometimes with uh, balancing the loot and the difficulty of the structure. <laughs> so uh, I think it's perfect. Alright, and uh, the Hardcore World. Uh, I like this world. I hope I don't lose it. I certainly don't want to lose it. Uh, but I don't love the seed. I think it's a bad seed, personally. I've explored a little bit. I've never found anything good. There are biomes that I'm missing for some of my big projects, which I'll explain when I talk about the lore of this world in more detail. Uh, you'll see what I mean. I have little, basically little builds that are going to help, you know, show you what's going on. Uh... I hope I don't lose this world though. I've been watching, um, you know, I watch Hermitcraft now, and uh, Gemnite is my favorite Hermitcrafter. She also has a hardcore series going, and I'd love to do something like she, what she's doing, where she goes and um, does a bunch of different, you know, she does a bunch of different uh, village revamps, and uh, I'd love to try that myself. I kind of wouldn't mind starting over in a new world, but right now it's. Uh, I like this world. I like the things that I've added to this world, but I don't love the world itself, and uh, that's a little unfortunate. But uh, that's just kind of the case right now. But I'm gonna keep going on this world. I'm not gonna like quit on it, you know. I'm I'm excited, and uh, I'll just have to go really far away, I guess, to find some of the different biomes and things that I need. Um, yeah, that's okay. Uh, so one thing that I wanted to do, we'll leave that on in the background. I hope that wasn't too loud, actually. Uh, could be. Uh, but we're gonna make a banner, so um, I love to make banners, but I've never shown myself making a banner, I don't think. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to grab some of my dyes and stuff, and I'm gonna make a banner for you real quick. So I need to make some more dark gray dye for sure. Uh, I think that should be enough. We're gonna put that up. Alright, uh, what else? We need... We need lime wool. Let's see if we have any lime wool. Yes, we do. We have just enough for a banner. That's good. I can't remember the recipe, so let's just look it up. So we're gonna make a little banner, and maybe this is something I can do in the future, is make a new banner to commemorate each video that I make. So we're going to stick this in here. So I'm going to make a banner inspired by the new trial spawners because they're really awesome and uh, they certainly deserve some love. Alright, so we're going to start out. We're going to do a dark grey diamond. 
Um, and then what we're going to do, we're going to select the bottom. So we're going to do cyan, cyan shade on the bottom. Then, oh, I forgot to grab the orange dye. Let's get that real quick. Okay, put the banner back in. We're going to do orange shade on the top. Then we're going to put this in. We're going to do blue. And then we're going to do white on top of it. And see there, you can kind of tell it has uh, the blue right on the very edges. And there we go. That's it. This is going to be the banner for this episode to commemorate our going to the trial spino spawners. Ugh, the trial chambers. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think it looks good. And uh, that's basics on how you make, if you want to make a banner like that, uh, go ahead. And this design, of course, I just came up with this earlier, played around in uh, creative to make this up. And uh, I think it looks good. I think it fits the trial chamber vibe. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, sorry if it was a little too long. Uh, I'm going to put up my loot, and um, we'll see what I do next time I get a video out. I don't know. I'll be working on the project, and uh, maybe we'll get to do some ominous spawners sometime soon. So uh, you probably saw the sign earlier if you're paying attention. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, I'd love to keep, uh, keep going with this world, so... Um, uh, the more you show support for me and my channel, the more I'll, you know, live stream on this world and uh, make videos on this world and uh, make some more videos. It helps motivate me. Alright, that's going to be all. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Kitten out!